rock formations other than lava flows are remnants of ancient trees from a thousand years ago gigantic trees that have petrified these trees were so massive their trunks would be miles wide their leaves would stretch all the way above the clouds just like trees today the roots take up minerals and metals from the soil and process them into more pure form you can find these in the plants today in microscopic form but scaled up to a massive scale you're able to find veins of gold in sufficient amounts and other precious metals to be mined so the plant takes up these metals and other gems and precious stones are just petrified tree sap you know your ambers like quartz quartz is that white tree sap just petrified and you can pan for gold as well because the rivers and waters that are cutting through these ancient trees that are petrified are gonna wash away these metals from the wood from the petrified tree so people mining for gold are chipping away at a rock layer that might be the outer bark of the tree and so they reach the cambium layer so it's known that in trees the cambium layer is where these minerals and metals are taken up from the soil and dispersed throughout the tree photosynthesis and other processes purify these metals and like I said they can be found in plants today only in very very small amounts so when scaled up to these trees when you're talking about thousands of feet high miles wide trunks it's scaled up so you'll be able to find these little veins of gold and other precious metals within them 10 incredible ancient structures carved out of solid rock don't get me wrong these are very impressive but they're carved out of wood a large piece of the a gigantic tree ancient biblical trees carved out of the side of the trees the root system maybe is part of the root giant root just going up and down almost like making rolling hills on the ground see what I'm getting at carved out of wood very talented very amazing feat to do but if something sits in the desert long enough it'll petrify